So the question came up, kind of what do you do when you mess up? So let's say I was working on this and it was a bigger piece of fabric and I messed up and I got oil on it or something like that. What do you do? Okay, so the first thing is I'm gonna trim it closer. So hang on, I'll be right back, I'm gonna trim it, hold on. Okay, so now I saved my heart, but I trimmed it a little closer. I'm gonna put it on this piece here and I'm gonna just attach it. Um, gonna just attach it to the bigger piece. Um, you know what, I'm gonna trace a border first. So I'm gonna attach my heart here, but I'm gonna trace a border around it. So I have like a guide, this is what I'm gonna make. Okay. So that's my guide. Okay, so I got like a slightly bigger heart. I'm gonna put it under here. And I'm gonna go around it. So basically what I'm trying to do now is go around the dark red with a pink, just barely on the edge. I probably cut the green felt a little short And of course it moved off of my image that I drew, but whatever. Okay, I'm gonna go back here and fix this. Okay, now I'm gonna go around and I trace my border of my heart. Okay, now I'm gonna um, I'm gonna circle fill around my border. Um, just doing this really quick, not not trying to be perfect or anything. So I think I'm gonna loosen my thread tension a little bit. I'm gonna finish the fill and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished my circle fill and now I'm gonna go around the edge. Most all things I do, I go back before I'm finished and I fill the edge, I'll trace the edge one or two times. It kinda helps to lock all your threads together in your circle fill and I think it sort of gives your piece a little cleaner look to it. Okay, so we're done. Pull the piece out and take a look at it. Okay, whoops. My finished tail didn't come out very nice. So, I just sort of attached my patch to the background. You'll know if you look at the back, but you really can't tell from the front. So this is like a cover-up. If, let's say, there was a big seam here, I could put this red heart on top of the seam, sew it down around the edges, or if I did, let's say, a large banner, and I didn't like what was happening on the outer fabric, I could cut that out and attach it to new fabric by just doing the outside border. And it looks pretty seamless as long as you Leave enough of the edge that when you cut it, you can sew that edge down. Okay, hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching.